this this is this is uh, right here is the tongue scraper or the mouth scraper or tongue scraper scraper what's doing the scraping tongue uh-huh tongue. so T tongue scraper mm -hmm, but you yeah. could just call it a scraper if you okay. wanted to and it scrapes the uh, it scrapes the top of the mouth which I couldn't quite see yesterday but uh, I guess it does I was looking in the mirror and it looks like it gets up okay. there. Okay. You yeah. you did see your tongue go up toward the top of your mouth yeah. and you couldn't tell by seeing whether it had actually made a scraping action against mm -hmm. the top of your mouth. And I think as you told me yesterday you're not sure you're feeling that yet. I uh not like some of the other more obvious ones, mm -hmm. you know. The, this is real obvious to me what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean what I mean, it just almost, it's automatic in the top. And then this popper here mm -hmm. is real obvious. And this is real obvious to me, too. Okay. I mean, I know where it is. Um, but I, I, it's okay. I mean, I, I know what this is. and uh, But I don't quite have the same feel. Sureness about, about it. This and, and that's all right, because I think the sensitivity the awareness of sensation in your mouth will increase as we experience it more and talk about it more. Just for the record, for your information later as your progress continues, the very first time that I ask you to make the p sound and tell me what worked in your mouth to make it, whether your tongue worked or your lips worked or so forth, you had difficulty identifying that your lips worked mm -hmm. on that. So now that is seeming very easy yep. to think about. Yep. So you see you have already made some progress in yep. identifying these sensations from even, your mouth. Even learning that, that I mean, it's a frame, definitely a frame of reference I was not aware of at all, mm -hmm. conscious of at least. Even though you've had phonics instruction, right. there is the um, emphasis on sounds that is was given to you in phonics had not actually connected to the fact that your mouth was making an action to produce a given My sound. My experience with the phonics was a concept. Not, okay. I never ever professed to really understand it. You know, people okay. ask. These other sounds that we're going to go into now are called other consonant groups because they cannot be formed into a pair where the action is the same and one's quiet and one's noisy. Mm -hmm. There will be something the same about them that will let us group them into a category, mm -hmm. but it won't be that the mouth action is the same. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what you're going to discover now is what is it that's the same mm -hmm. that lets us group them? Make this sound. Mm. 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 How do you make that sound? I uh, close my lips and mm, make uh, my uh, make my vocal cord. I mean, it's like humming. I don't know how. Okay, to it. so that's a noisy sound a noisy that you're sound, making. Yeah. Well, if your lips were closed, how did the sound get out? I must come through my nose. Okay, check it and see. If if you uh, as you're making that sound, pitch your nose shut and see if it stops it. Go ahead and, and just start the sound. Mm, but without pinching first. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. So Okay. And of course we can also feel to see if any air is okay. coming out. But I had the reason I guessed with the no the nose is because I saw a picture of a nose on the oh, table. Oh, all but right. But when you pinched <laughs> your nose, it really, okay, now I know. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's that's how you've survived all these years, John, <laughs> by using every cue that was anywhere. Gotta look around all the time. <laughs> Good for you. Okay, so find, okay. find the nose. This is the nose. All right. Okay. And then are you thinking of a given letter to represent that mm, mm, sound? That sounds like an M to me. All right. So let's go ahead and let you find that and put it out. Mm. 
All right, now, there are two more nose sounds. Okay. But let's talk a minute about um, what our categorizing is then. These, this sound, you told me, was formed by closing your lips. Mm -hmm. And so the lips being closed actually kept the air from coming out your mouth, mm -hmm. and then it had to come out someplace, mm -hmm. so that then forced it to come out through your nose instead. All right, so these next two sounds are going to have to come out your nose too. And it will be interesting to see whether they somehow are also made with your lips or whether something else stops the air. Okay. Do you think they're one of these? <laughs> that, that would be something to think from. Mm. So that's humming like the the first one was that we. Well, but this this one, I mean, mm, mm, it seems like I'm forcing it out my nose. I don't know if that's true. Okay, let, let me show you what I see, and I I think I'm gonna just have to stop and go get a mirror okay. for us to work from, but I'll give you this feedback right now. What what. You're saying to me is that this is mm, mm. and this is mm. <laughs> When you do it, it's the same. <laughs> you doing something wrong. <laughs> I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, what what did you think you were saying when you said this? I thought I was saying. Mm. Okay. <laughs> is that different from when I said mm? I think it is. Okay, <laughs> so apparently. so I need to go get a mirror. Okay. <laughs> hold on just a minute. I'm mirror and you're going to have to hold it up close. If you hold it out here, you won't be able to see it okay. all. <clears throat> okay, so make, while, while I hold these here so you know what you're working from, make this sound and then make this sound mm. and watch your mouth and see if they do two different things or two same things. Mm. That's this one. Mm -hmm. Now do this one. They're doing the same thing, but apparently, I mean, I'm not doing anything different. There. Okay. Now, the other day we said that one of the things that's helpful, you were saying you know the names of the letters and that sometimes you think from the names of mm -hmm. the letters. Say the name of this letter and say the name of this letter and see if that uh, makes your mouth do anything different. M. And watch it M. as you do it. Okay, in, now say this one. In. Oh, I got some tongue action there. All right. Okay. All right. What I was thinking is that it, it's just that, those kinds of distractions that don't, that make us appear as though we're either rude or we're dumb or we're lazy or whatever those things are. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that it's, I just wanted to. Another thing that might be helpful to just focus here is that you said that you were concentrating and you were paying attention when you were having help previously, mm -hmm. and yet people thought you weren't. Right. And now The you other fear that I always had was I was afraid that I couldn't answer that question anyway. Here, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid. Why is that? Because um, I, have, I have faith, I have confidence that you have, you know that, that part of it is, and it's only been in the last year that I have been able to say, and I talk about the emotional baggage of being illiterate in this society, it's only been in the last year that I told Kathy that I was intelligent, you know, I thought I was intelligent. Mm -hmm. And so that childhood experience of being in the dumb row, to be told those things, mm -hmm. no matter what I was able to to prove to myself and others there was always an underlining issue is that that you're wrong and in an, a learning environment 
you have to trust, you have to believe, mm -hmm. and you have to have faith. Mm -hmm. In the teacher that was, you know, I wouldn't give it to them before. Mm -hmm. um, when we started our very first session with you, when we did what we call setting the climate, mm -hmm. did we talk together about the fact that my job was to ask questions or your clinician's job was going to be to ask questions and that your job was to tell us what you thought? And did we talk about one more thing that might have helped that sense of trust to come? When we said we were going to ask questions, were we going to be concerned about whether your answer was wrong or right? No, I don't know. I, Did we talk about that? Whether it was stated that? or whether I felt it, I think it was stated uh, that it really didn't matter from yes. the very beginning. But the, the first, from the very beginning, from the first person, the second person, and then working with you also, it just, it's validated. It's, you know, that... Uh, and the reason that we talked about that was because we said that if we're going to think together, which is what we're going to mm -hmm. do, when I ask a question, all I need to know is what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to necessarily be what I was expecting or hoping yeah. that I might have as an answer. What I want to know is where did your brain meet that question? Because I want to meet you where you are. And so that's why. If you were to put your hand underneath my chin while mm -hmm. I did those, e, e, i, e, a, a, Ah, uh, what do you feel happening? Okay, you open your mouth as you go through. Mm -hmm. You must be letting more air out or something. Okay, if if I if you were to describe what you felt happening with your hand, did you feel my chin going up or did you feel my chin going down? I was really focusing visually and Were you? watching rather okay. and that's what I usually do. All right, so let's So I mm, okay. wasn't paying attention. All right, so I didn't ask I a good you, I think you drop, but I okay. was I'm a visual person, so All I right, was but watching. but that also tells me that I didn't ask a good enough question when we started. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to say see whether you feel my chin going up as if it's going up some stair steps mm -hmm. or whether it's going down as if I were going down some stair okay. steps. Okay. E, I, e, 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 a. Okay. I'm watching it go down and I'm feeling it go down. All right. But I'm really probably more getting more information from watching it than I am. Uh, and that's only because that's, you know, when I watch people talk, mm -hmm. I watch them, their lips move. So that's some mm -hmm. old baggage that I okay. have. Okay. But, but I could feel it going down also. Mm -hmm. you know? All right. So what we're going to do is represent what you just felt by letting that be E. And then we're, since you felt my chin going down in step-like progression, it, mm -hmm. I didn't just go... Right. top to bottom right. in one move. I'm going to let you put these steps up to you represent that many those. Sounds? Mm -hmm. Six of them? Mm -hmm. Probably about mm -hmm. the same. And, and we're going to be later putting some letters on these. So notice that I put this almost to the bottom of that oh, one. Okay. And so we'll do that so that okay. we'll have room. Right. But you did, did just about the right amount there. That's okay. good. I didn't realize there were so many sounds that you made. You know, mm -hmm. when I was watching you, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So this visual kind of thing says something to me. Okay, John. Show me. Show me. Peer. Peer. Go ahead and say it so you can Pee. feel what your mouth is doing. Pee. 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 
trying to decide if there's two sounds there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, yeah, there's two, and one's a lip popper. So I just take any one of these? Mm -hmm. Okay. A oh, lip popper. Eh, 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 eh. Gotta be smile. And so you'll just use a okay. different color okay. for a different sound. All right. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That's right. Let me see yours. P. See it. Yeah. It's like you gotta watch it real close. It's, it looks like one. And so that's why I want you to say yeah. it so you can feel. I can see it. Yeah. All right, so a popper and a smile, eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that's peer, show me poo. And if you say both of them, John, then you'll feel the change more okay. easily. P, E, and P, U. Mm -hmm. But try to say them as a, a chunk, like I'm saying them, so they flow together and you feel your mouth change. Okay. P, 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 P. And so I can't keep up with it. Mm, that and I mean, I can see it, but. I don't feel it like unless I slow it down. Okay, so try it now without seeing it. So you just try to focus on the feeling change in your mouth. Peer. Peer. Poo. 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 Mostly I'm seeing right now. I'm okay. I'm feeling just a little bit of the ooh. All right. But if I wasn't watching you, I just think I'm just doing ooh right now. I mean, myself. All right. I mean, if, well, let's check it. If you just did ooh, see how that would feel on your mouth. Ooh. Okay, now say poo. P ooh. Poo. Do you feel poo. something besides roundness? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a, it's a lip popper and a, and a um, round. Mm-hmm. And so, if we did have a lip popper and a smile if for pit. Yeah. And we have we'll, to change this one. Uh huh. We'll take out the smile if and put in a round ooh. Poo, poo, mm -hmm. poo, poo, poo. Mm hmm. Okay. If that's poo, show me poos. 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 Poo. poo. Who's the smile? This okay. is a smile. But I forgot which one was our smile. Just another one? Uh, it... le let me check something with you. If you take out this round ooh, mm -hmm. it tells me there's no round ooh anymore when I'm saying poos. Oh, there's the uh, poos. There's three And, in and you, you were using this for okay. your ooh. Poo, poo, okay. poo, and that is a that's a that's a skinny a skinny sound skinny good skinny sound all right yeah, skinny, great great skinny. okay if that says poos poos show me sus 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 we have another su, su, su. You're saying it right? Su, uh, did you give me four of them? Check your feeling <laughs> and, and let's see. see. What was it again? Su, there's four. Sus. Sus. Mm -hmm. Now you're you're right. Something's happening with the skinny. See if you can decide what's happening with that skinny. Well, it's, I know there's one right there. All right. So if you put the skinny in front of the popper uh -huh. that we had before, that would make me say spus. See if there's a popper coming after the skinny when I say sus. No, there's no popper. Okay. So this is, it's two, two skinnies. Two skinnies, uh -huh. and, uh, one at the beginning and one at the okay. end, and around. Let me see it again now. Sus. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. 
Seuss. 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 Mm -hmm. Seuss. Okay. Is that a word or a nonsense? It's a nonsense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Ab. Show me the letters that we would use to show ab. 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 Well, I know this. Uh, whoops, this is the lip popper on the end of it. I've got one here. And ab is the vowel sound, or the, and it's on the ab, ab. Ab. Okay, good. If that's ab, show me oob. 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 And, and I'm Let's doing see. I'm doing nonsense patterns yes. instead of real words, John, because I don't want you able to work from anything you might have memorized in the past. Right. I want you to just be able to think and feel. Okay. Okay, so you so took out the smile ah, let me see and you're going to make oob, but but you say it and feel it. Oob. Good. Oob. Because I uh, I knew it before I checked you out, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay. I mean, just. All right. For the record. Okay, well, let me check something with you oob. a minute. When when you when you are putting this oob. for me, uh, where does this come on the vowel circle? What would you be thinking of for oh, this? Oh, that's not it. D but just first that, tell me that. That's open. Uh-huh, and the sound would be? It'd be ah. Uh. Uh-huh, so then that would make you say ab. Uh-huh. And I was wanting us to have oob. Mm-hmm. And that's round. Okay. And uh, I'm having so much fun because I know I'm getting close at least. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're knowing why you needed yeah. to change that, right. which is the right. important thing. Okay. If that's that's, a, that's oo, oob. oob. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. If that's oob, show me oof. Oof. That's a. That's a. a, a lip. Oof. You're right, your lips lip involved. Cooler. Lip cooler, good. Okay. Lip cooler came in. If that's oof, show me foo. 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 All right, very good. And that shift of moving the relationship of those sounds uh -huh. into a reverse uh, situation is a very hard judgment mm -hmm. for many people to make and so that's great that you could quickly grasp that change if that's um, let's now change it so that you will have to match your mouth to what I put up here what if I put these two symbols what will your mouth have to say for that yeah yeah Mm. Mm -hmm. Can you put them together? I, I, mm -hmm. and, I, and just let them hang on to this, smile it, until you're ready to put the lip cooler with it. I, and, I, and you could even run your finger under it if you wanted to. I, and, and keep hanging on to that. Okay. I, I, and just I, keep it coming. Okay. I, 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 Again. Iv. And if you say iv, iv. iv. That's, that's better. Iv. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want it to, to just end on the lip cooling without okay. any iv okay. after it. That's the, in connecting them, I mean, because I haven't done this yes, at this all. Yes, this is brand new. First You're time right. we've done this. If, and it's the, the idea is just to stay on that one until you, mm -hmm. I mean, you kind of bridge that, mm -hmm. which is. Uh, mm -hmm. Because just staying with the sound. It doesn't like you don't bring in anything else. I have a, I bring something in there sometimes, a D or a T that mm -hmm. doesn't belong mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. So, okay. but right it, now you were matching. If, if, very good. If, mm -hmm. What if I change that if, smile I to a smile a? Ah, what would your mouth have to say? Of, of. Good. What if I? 
think. It's easy. <laughs> Good. What if I do that? Now what your, does your mouth have to do? Okay, let me check something with you for just a minute. If you say vab, what's uh -huh. the very last thing your mouth is feeling? I'm doing Say Say it and feel vab. it. Vab. Uh, lip popper. Okay, and do you see a lip no. popper? So what's the last feeling you want your mouth to make? A smile. Mm -hmm. Viv, ad, viv, ad, vivid, viv, ad. Let's, first of all, let your mouth just yeah. match this. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Smile out. Uh, okay, now we're just going to put a lip cooler in front of it. And so this by itself would just make your mouth do. Mm -hmm. So now do like we did before. Hang on to the lip cooling until you're ready to tell your mouth to do this smile at. And if you want to... Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yes, and a minute ago you were hanging it together just a little bit more smoothly. Mm -hmm. So you could not have any little break between. Well, I smooth was on. All right, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah. You, you kept just your I, lip cooler I'd and your I'd say ad. one of the biggest things that I have to overcome mm -hmm. is that I'm very much aware of adding the lip popper to a lot of mm -hmm. words. I mean, mm -hmm. I know that because Kathy, we didn't call it lip popper, but Kathy said that I always did that mm -hmm. with words, mm -hmm. and especially D's to mm -hmm. words. Okay, good. Okay, um, if that's there, and I put this here, what... What would your mouth have to do now? The, a, a, mm -hmm. Why did you change a. from saying a when we had this to saying a? The e behind uh, the vowel sounds uh, give you permission to use their proper names. Okay. Good. Hey! <laughs> there were five of them I got. <laughs> right. So that E is going to signal us that right. this could say its name, right. A. Great. That's well, something that, uh, to me, it's so amazing mm -hmm. that I learned that, you know, within like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been told that a million times mm -hmm. or, because it was not isolated mm -hmm. to tell me that mm -hmm. this, I mean, the rest of it, I could see that there was isolation to mm -hmm. the, the to the big picture but when apparently in the past it was told and Kathy used to tell me all the time give me the rule but I never it never sunk in good okay let me check something here we had the E and the A on the same square if I put these up here separately would this E still get to make that A say its name uh, Yes. Yes, it would. You're right. And as soon as I take it away? It, it is the sound of, it's a smile, and it's uh, ah, mm -hmm. ah. So then instead of saying they like it did here, now mm -hmm. it's going to say mm -hmm. ah, ah. Mm -hmm. And can you let them smoothly flow together? Mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. Good. All right, great. All right, now, if I put this back here, and it says ve, and then if I put this nose sound at the end of it, what would that say? It's a middle no sound, but... Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're saying mm -hmm. it right. Uh -huh. Is that, are we still doing nonsense words? Well, this will sound... It looks like a nonsense word right now, but when you get it together, it will sound like a real word, and I want to show you something with it. Well, it's...
A A Okay, you just made a real important change. You changed from saying van to saying vain. Mm -hmm. why, why did you make that change? You were right to do that. When you were saying van, what were mm -hmm. you feeling right after the lip cooler? And, and don't look here now, check your mouth. When you said van, what were you feeling after the lip cooler? I don't remember what I was feeling. I'm, well, check it right now and see what you're feeling. When you say van. 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 Mm -hmm. What are you feeling right after that lip cooler? Van. What is that? I, Smile open or round? Let me see. Let me see. Van. It's a smile. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smile. And which sound? It's the. Uh, it's the. Uh, it's the uh, uh, sound. The A sound. Mm -hmm. And and just say the sound itself. When you say were, the sound. Uh huh. When you were saying mm -hmm. van, just mm -hmm. say the. Uh, that sound, uh, uh -huh. Okay. Is that a vowel sound or that's, the name of the vowel? That's a vowel sound. Okay. Now, if you have this E in, mm -hmm. then you apparently noticed that signal because then you changed it to vein. Mm -hmm. Was that right to change from van to vein? When you say vein, mm -hmm. what are you feeling after your lip cooler? A, mm -hmm. which is a smile, but mm -hmm. that's the, the E changed that uh, A to A to say it as its proper name. Its name, okay. So you were you made the right change for that. And what I want to show you is that vein is a real word, like a weather vein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when we're do dealing with real words, this signal to make mm -hmm. the A say its name mm -hmm. will move to the end like mm -hmm. this most of the time, mm -hmm. but it will still do its job. Mm -hmm. So this way it will say, Vain. And can you say it all together like a word? Vain. Uh huh. As Vain. soon as I take the E off, and what, is that a real word? That's a real word. Make a sentence for me with that one. Uh, the moving van is coming. Good. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of words in our language mm -hmm. will be able to be thought of uh, with this kind of relationship mm -hmm. where the E will make the vowel say its name, and if it's not there, you can expect it to say its sound. So when you, uh, E, let me see, E, is always the signal to the last vowel to to well, say its just name. For right now, we're going to talk about it when okay. we're just in a one syllable. I can word. see how it works, though. So. Mm -hmm. And and then as we have an expectancy for this, then as we go along, we'll find some that don't follow this. But then you'll be able to notice it, and you'll say, "Oh, no, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have expected that." Mm -hmm. And then it will be able to hold in your mind because you can compare it with something you expected. Okay, so we'll continue to um, work with small pattern changes like this okay. until it gets easy to match your mouth to what you see okay. when you're reading. And then we'll move on into more complex patterns. Okay. Okay. These it are complex, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs>